Hey, what's up, universe? It's 1.45 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, September 3rd, 2023. So this video is going to be all conjecture, all speculation, entirely speculation, entertainment purposes only, some wackadoo stuff. So we're just going to get that out of the way right now. I'm not making any claims, none of that stuff. I started following a guy, um, I don't know when, and named Steve P. on TikTok, and it, he talks about zero-point energy. I know, I get it. So, the thing is, is that, you know, one of his latest videos, he was talking about going to a conference in Italy and all of this kind of stuff, and his a video just popped up on my feed not that long ago where he's back, in. and I just, I watched it, and I was reading some of the comments, and I just thought I would start to check into this, right? One of the comments was, um, he posted an email address uh, for New Fire Energy. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna check into that. So the two things I did is I checked in to see if there was any events in Italy that I could possibly find that would be related to zero point energy or renewable energy or any of that kind of stuff. And then um, I also checked out New Fire Energy just to see what I could find out on that. So let's take a look and I'll show you what I found. First thing is this is the website, right? Now, it's really interesting, like this text is black text on this really dark blue, right? Made it kind of hard to see, especially over here. So I went ahead and just like highlighted it, you know? And then I was like, hey, the board, let's take a, let's let, let's take a look at the board members and see who they are. All right, so here we go, right? If I energy board member, so I'm not making any claims. I'm just showing what's on this website. Okay, so I took a look into this guy. It was a little bit hard to find information on. Didn't look this person up. I did not look this person up. I didn't look th this person up. I looked this individual up. Found a YouTube channel, same kind of a picture. You know, this kind of a thing. Uh, not too much that I could really find. Uh, although there was like corresponding information that supported the claims about being like multilingual and all of this kind of a, kind of a thing, so I was like, all right, well, this is this is interesting. Yeah. Uh, so outside of this page, I did find some correlation with that. And here is here's the guy that has the TikTok, right? All right so and I found him on LinkedIn as well. Although these individuals don't seem to have pictures on their LinkedIn profile. Uh, so there's that. And here's an advisor. I did not look up this individual. Okay, so that's the board. All right, so here you go. You can see these different tabs that I have open. Right? Quite a few different tabs on my rabbit trail here. So right here I am kind of looking at the first individual to see you know, what I can find out. Seems to be the same picture, right? All right. So there's this that I found, and that's up here on this website. Again, I'm not making any claims, just showing what I'm finding on the internet. Uh, I looked this up on LinkedIn, and this is like a financial services, uh, I believe. I'll show that here in a second. Okay, here's this on this page. All right. All right. There's that. There's that uh, one other individual that I was talking about here. So there's that. And like here's LinkedIn profile, this kind of a thing. You know, not very, not very descript, you know. Uh, but yeah, it shows you know multiple languages. So YouTube channel. Right. Let me go back over here. So there's that LinkedIn profile, right? Okay. So here is this site, PitchBook, right? Company profiles, right? New Fire Energy. All right. So that's what I found there. So then I was like, all right, let's check out this guy. You know, take a look. You can do your own Google search on that. Uh, I found a Bloomberg thing, but since I didn't pay for anything, I'm not getting any results. Again, not making any claims, just showing what I found. There's this site, right? This one's a little bit more interesting. Right, 
So there's that. And so this is where I did the research for, you know, hey, is there any, are there any type of events going on here? So I found this. That's from 2022, and I get it, 2022. So I was like, all right, well, are there like 2023? Yeah. And this is what I found. So here's a YouTube video. I'll just do this here real quick. Show you this, the fire energy. And this is what Steve's talking about in his TikTok. He said that there's gonna be a demonstration in October of a car that can just continue to run. So I've not watched this video. Another, what's this? And this one, I mean look, that, that just, that hasn't happened yet. So then I came up here to the Hydrogen World Expo and I did that just because I was just curious about, I forget exactly how I came upon this, but I just found it. I thought I would check out the speakers, right? And for some, whatever, whatever reason, this woman caught my eye. And so I thought I'd look her up, right? Oh, and here's some other things, right? You know, this is another, this is another event that is happening uh, at the same time. No, actually, I guess a couple weeks later. So there's that. All right, so hold on a second. All right, I know I'm just kind of jumping around real quick. There's that one company that that first individual that I looked up. You know, he was the uh, he was involved with this company. So it's a wealth creation company. All right, so hopping back to this. Right, so for some reason, whatever, she caught my attention and I looked her up, and I found this post. Right. So Sustainable Finance Disclosure Regulation, or SFDR. Now, I didn't know what that was, right? I'm like, what is this? And so I thought I'd look it up. So here's a Wikipedia, right? And there's the 2030 Agenda and the Paris Climate Agreement. And as I'm reading this, I started thinking about how are they gonna run these 15-minute cities? How are they gonna run these smart cities? And wouldn't it just be kind of like a thing if these 15-minute cities weren't run off some type of zero-point energy? I mean, it sounds crazy, don't get me wrong, I understand, like, but it just isn't a fantasy idea. I'm like, that's an interesting idea, right? Because these things are supposed to be some type of technological, I don't know, I have no idea actually, but they seem to be very sustainable right that's the whole idea and then i don't know how this is also conjecture and speculation i feel like quantum computing has got to play a role in this right ai and quantum computing have to play a role in this are these going to be self-governed cities i mean i've seen some speculation about that too right like where the governments of these cities are not run by humans they're ran by some type of all-knowing ai right whatever uh so just uh like I said, wackadoo stuff, complete conjecture. That's the rabbit hole I went down, and I did not ever anticipate running into the uh, 2030 agenda there. So, all right, that's what I got. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.